Hi and welcome to this DCP web tutorial. In today's tutorial I'm going to show you how to unblock an IP address using WHM web hosting manager. So a typical scenario is um, I host quite a few websites for my clients and sometimes I will send an email address and a password when I set that up on the uh, hosting account for my client and my client will try to access that email and for whatever reason they type in the password incorrectly now if they type it in once or twice it's not a problem but if they repeatedly type in the password for the email address to access that email account continuously type it in incorrectly what will happen is the server will block their IP address because it will think it's an attack or someone's trying to hack in to that particular email account so the server will basically block their IP the IP is unique to their machine so anyone else on the internet can still see their website but the client themselves cannot see their own website or access their email so that's normally a typical scenario when the IP address gets blocked so to fix this we'll go to my web browser and I'm logged into WHM and I'm going to go to Google first and what I would tell my client to do is type in to Google my IP and Google will return the IP address so this IP address is unique for each machine so if you're if your customer or your website itself is being blocked for some reason you can't access it you need to get the IP address this will be unique to that machine that can't access it so I'm going to copy this IP address and go to WHM and login I'm logged in already and I'll scroll down to the bottom and click on plugin and then I'll click on config security and firewall when I click on there I'll scroll down to this section here quick allow and what I would normally do is type in my clients IP address here and I might put a little note there that this is the IP address for a certain website for example one of my clients websites or even my own website and then you click on this quick allow what that will do um, normally what it would do is add that IP address to the whitelist allowing access to the server from that particular IP it's saying that it's failed because it already exists in the allow allow list because I've added that before so we can return and go back to the firewall and in theory your customer or if you're having a problem accessing your own website you'll be able to access that website from that particular machine now sometimes it could be an IP block on um, multiple machines so you need to get all the IP addresses of all those machines uh, but normally it's just one IP address that you need to unlock okay I hope you find that tutorial useful and I look forward to seeing you on the next DCP web tutorial.